Good morning, welcome back. Unfortunately, yesterday I didn't get the chance to actually get the shovel head out and take it for a ride. I don't have brake lights. I went down a rabbit hole yesterday at chasing wires and trying to figure out why I don't have brake lights. I never really figured out what's going on there. Uh, I still don't have an actual headlight. Uh, this headlight is busted, the glass is busted in it. I can see the filament laying in the bottom, but I do have the spotlights. So at least I have those. But today I'm going to take this thing out and I'm going to run it down the road. At least try to get it through all of its gears. Now it's cold today. Yesterday we hit almost 60 degrees, sun was shining, and man it was beautiful. I have to say that it was nice being outside yesterday. Today there's a nice cold breeze. The current temperature is supposed to be 40. Actual temperature says it's like 30. So unfortunately that's a little cold. So I'm going to wear my Heavy duty jacket today, I've got a few layers on underneath and I don't suspect I'll be going too far. Again, my goal is to get a baseline here. I want to take this bike down the road, I want to shift it through its gears, and I want to see that it actually shifts. It should, I believe it should. I know it runs pretty well. I know the carburetor is going to need to be cleaned, but that's something I can address in the future. Right now, I feel the carburetor is good enough to actually run properly. So I'm going to get this thing out and we're going to get it on the road. We'll see you guys in a minute here. Well guys, moment of truth here. Let's see if this thing will start and we'll see if we can take her down the road. Good sign. Engage all the way. Oop. Might be a little cold yet. And the clutch cable just broke. <laughs> I knew that was happening. I knew that was coming pretty soon. That thing just snapped right off in there. 
that's okay. I knew it was pulling super hard and I knew it wasn't in good shape. So now I know I need to replace that. It snapped right at the lever. That's the end of that. Anyway, the bike did ride and it shifted great. It sounds like it's running pretty good. Obviously the carburetor needs to be cleaned. That's not perfect, but I can pull that apart and get that thing cleaned up super easy. We'll get that done. We'll get the clutch cable replaced because like I said, this is, it's junk, it broke. <laughs> That was cool. It's nice to be on the road with it though. It did feel pretty smooth for the most part. Obviously there's a little bit of lag in the throttle just because this carburetor is dirty. It has been sitting for a while. So unfortunately with the fuel sitting in, you know, the carburetor or the tanks or whatever, it, it didn't do it any well. So we'll go ahead and get that cleaned up as well. Uh, go ahead and get this bike detailed. Give it, uh, it does have new oil. We'll go ahead and give it a transmission fluid change. Check the primary. It, that look, that seemed tight when I checked it the other day, but we'll go ahead and check it again now that I've ridden the bike to see what that's like. With that being said, I'm very pleased. I'm very pleased this thing came together the way it did and that it's running and ready to go. So with that, it's on to changing this bike up to making it better. And I've got a whole plan for that. So if you're looking forward to seeing the changes that happen to this bike, stay tuned. Well guys, as you can see, the bike is back here on the lift. It was awesome to have it go down the road, run it through the gears, and feel how this thing ran. Now I know some of the issues I need to address. Obviously the clutch cable needs to be replaced, and that'll get done. Um, I need to go ahead and clean the carburetor on this bike, and then we begin its transformation. And this whole bike's gonna get changed. Everything on it's gonna be different. It's gonna be a nice machine when it's done, that's for sure. Obviously the hope is to be able to change this thing up and then put it on the market and sell it off. It's a beautiful bike and I love it, but I can't keep it. I've got too many motorcycles right now. I've got too many projects that I need to finish and way too many irons in the fire. So I got to work on those things. And of course, when I sell this, the money I generate from this will fund those projects. Anyway, I just wanted to say thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for following along. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Of course, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, hit that subscribe button. I've gained a lot of subscribers in the past few weeks here, and I really appreciate having you guys around. If your friends like this type of content, feel free to share it on your social media platforms. I know that you know there's a lot of guys that are into these old bikes, and maybe I can help some people with some of the projects that I'm working on. I'm a visual kind of guy myself, and I like seeing things worked on, and you know it helps me to learn you know new tactics or tricks or whatnot. And I hope to keep learning as I go. Well, guys, thanks again. We'll catch you next time. Take care.